Good morning, everybody. It's Dave, and here's my sidekick, Bo. As you can see, she is in the shade, and that is kind of where I want to be. So we're going to head out to the garden, take a quick look around. As far as our day today goes, it's a beautiful day in Southern California. It is about 90 degrees, which isn't too bad. It is a little humid, but that's okay compared to where we've been this past week. We had a high of 103 degrees just about three, four days ago, which was also the day I had some surgery on my back. So unfortunately, there's not gonna be a whole lot of yard work uh, done in the next week or two as I recover. And once I get the stitches out, I will be back to doing some more yard work. But I imagine I'll still have a video next week, but I did wanna show you the garden and how that's going as we end out August. We just have one more week left. Today is August 23rd, 2024. And as we look around the garden, we've got still some really wonderful zinnias that have been blooming basically since I put them in. Outstanding has taken the heat, have taken the reflective heat off of the wall, southern exposure, and I haven't even taken the time to go through and deadhead. So this is just pretty much plant and forget, and it's been great. Underneath that, some calabricoa, also some isotoma with one tiny little bloom down there. Some more calabricoa over here, and we'll prune the Eugenia in about two more weeks. Over here, we do have some really cool geraniums that once again have just been blooming all summer long. Plants in the holding bay. A few more blooms on the plumeria and that will end up being planted probably out near the old pond area. Got a few blooms on the Crimson Bouquet Rose, one of the best tree roses, and similar to Trumpeter, but it's a much more velvety flower color. And I personally like it better than Trumpeter, which is the old standard kind of orangish red variety of rose. Got some orchids on some sphagnum moss back there. You can definitely see how much heat we've had over the past couple of weeks with the burning of the edges of the Japanese maple. It's not gonna kill the Japanese maple or anything like that. In fact, kind of looks a little variegated from here. So a little bit more color to the darker leaves, but overall it's gonna be fine. It'll start to lose its leaves probably early to mid November. So you're probably looking at just about two to three months like this. The caprosma underneath it, some ferns in the back, but really everything else held up pretty good. I'll tell you that 103 degree day was really a nasty day here in SoCal. Take a look at that gigantic columbine. Can't wait for that to bloom next spring. And quite a few branches on this variegated scented geranium. We'll be cutting that back soon as well. And of course, the Shishigashira Japanese maple. The fig tree, that'll be thinned out in just a couple of weeks again once I am able to get back up on a ladder and one thing I did notice on the pomegranate this week is that we have a baby pomegranate which is really cool just the second year for this plant so really pleased that it did uh, give us some production over here we've got the Magnolia Solangiana Elizabeth which is a yellow flowering magnolia. 
going to plant one as well over across here just to the left of that Japanese maple to kind of balance this area out. Probably do a sitting area up here. I think next week's video may be more about projects than anything else as we planned uh, our ideas for the next winter year and calendar year. Winter is when most of the changes in the garden happen and we're usually done with our projects right around April or so. Not a whole lot to talk about back here. Again, just so incredibly surprised how well the Dizagothica, the false Aurelia grows there in the corner. Super hot sun, but does very, very well. The Chianthus tree, once again, looking great, as well as this Japanese maple, which didn't really get hardly any damage to it. Keep in mind, this does get more of the shade since it's kind of in that angle of the sun now is um, low enough in the sky. Over here in the rose garden, we do have the dogwood tree here. I did cover it up for a couple of days while the heat was here and survived, did okay. Again, nothing to write home about and I'm looking forward to it losing those damaged leaves in the winter time. Same can be said with the peonies. They did not bloom this year, which was a little sad, a little disappointing, but look forward to next year. Hopefully, once again, this is an area that will be, become a planter bed. Over here, uh, some of the things that did really well was the Westringia, the Thuya in the back, the lamb's ears. You can kind of see one of the blooms from the dahlia here. Definitely not as nice the second year as it was the first year we planted those roots. The patches of ajuga there at the base. But everything held up as well I could as well as I could have hoped. Still need just to get some time in there to pull out those weeds, cut back those Shasta daisies as we head into fall, which as far as I'm concerned cannot get here soon enough. We've also got beautiful sweet pea shrub. Duet roses. And we definitely had some burning as soon as I cut back that pittosporum. But it'll be fine. It's a very hardy plant. But again, when we jump in temperatures like that, it's always so rough. And having it in more sun, those protected leaves are more vulnerable to burning. The cherry tree did surprisingly well. And then over here, apricot tree did perfect. I thought it was a little funny. We had some blooms open on this foxglove. The loft bloom looks like a second off bloom coming up as well. Really pleased with all this white kufea or false heather. Looks like Bo is joining us from the shade there, which is again probably the best place. We've got sterling silver down here and not much else going on uh, the herbs are doing really well this is the variegated oregano really fills up this space nicely as does Bo and I think that is really kind of everything for us uh, for this week so just a quick walk around show you where 
we're sitting with everything. We have the nectarines here. Zoom over to the peaches. Those are almost ready to be harvested. And then of course the magnolia tree went through the heat like a champ. Not even any burning per se, a little bit of burning down there. But other than that, everything looks good. The mandevilla that we talked about last week, full bloom. And I think that'll be it. So I will see you all again next week with a new garden video.